the recording is started let me just go on live as well for today class okay so guys if you have seen on my whiteboard today we are going with the sd wan lab setup over the google cloud platforms right so guys sd wan lab setup it has around five stages or we can say four or five steps i have mentioned here four steps because these are the main steps and after that also there is a one more step is also there so that step we will discuss after that okay so if you want to do the left side of the google cloud what you need first thing you have to do you have to create a free tier account over the google cloud platforms what you have to do you have to create one free tier account over the google cloud platforms now what do you need to create a free tier account you just need one email id just make sure you are using here gmail id okay and the second thing you need one credit card and make sure in your credit card international transaction is enabled and also your credit card at least have a limit of 20k inr at least it has that much limit okay it's not about the balance guys it's about the limit these are the things you need to create a free tier account on google how you will do that what you have to do you have to go to into google so what i can do i'll go into my chrome browser let me just log in into incognito mode here and i'll just type one thing gcp free tier account just search with this string on the google and you will get here sign up for free right everyone able to see this thing sign up for free and guys i hope i am audible there is no any echo just confirm on chat yes no yes sir okay that's great so you have to click on sign up for free click on get started for free you can click here as well or here as well both are same now you have to put here one email id so what you can put any email id let me just put this email id let's so say this is my email id gmail one so i will put this email id next i will put the password of that email id so you have to put the password next it's pretty straight forward guys like we are creating a facebook account it's similar to that only now guys when you will create a free account if you will see here whatever email id you will enter just verify the email id here your email id is correct or not and after that you will see here you will get the 300 us dollar as a free credit from google which means google will provide you 300 credit which will reach around 23900 inr now that amount we will basically utilize for doing our sd1 labs and if you will see here this string or this line no auto charge after the free tri trial ends so guys even though this 300 usd they are providing for 90 days just remember if your 90 days time is over even though they will not charge you anything this is the statement from google there is no auto charge they will not charge anything just remember but i'll highly recommend when your days is at 86 or 87 just delete your account basically for the safer side okay now here you have to select your country so let let's suppose i am in india so i will select it india whatever your country you can select that country organization i'll highly recommend you can go with the either you can go with the personal project either you can go with the class project or assignment 
I'll highly recommend go with the personal project. Now, select these term and conditions, continue. Now, here you have to see account type, individual, you have to select here individual account type. Account type, now here you have to basically select the card number. Here you have to enter your card details, guys. Whatever card number and Google will support Visa and MasterCard. So if you have these cards, Visa and Master, you can put these card details here. You can put the card details. In the text information, you can put unregistered individual. And here you don't need to put any kind of pen card and pen. Do not enter anything. Just enter the card details. And after that, just click on a star my free trial account. When you click on this star free tier account, what you will get? You will get into the next window. So guys, when we do any kind of purchase from any of the e-commerce website, right? Because we have entered here card details. So what it will do? It will take you towards the payment gateway. It will take you towards the payment gateway a screen where you have to enter your OTP, which you have received in your phone. Because when we pay, by using these card we used to get the otp right that otp you have to enter and you have to submit and once you will submit they will detect the two inr they will just detect the two inr and after that what you have to do they will also give you as a refund these amount this two inr they will give you as a refund guys this thing you have to do and after doing this thing your account is successfully created once your account is created what you will get you will, when you will log in, you will log in into this particular prompt. This is the fresh account which I have created today only. If you will see here, so you have to always click on these three dots. You will go to into the billing section. In billing section, basically, just wait here and you will see this much free credit you will get basically. 23,990 rupees in INR. And that account is valid for 90 days because I just activated this account around one hour back only. Okay, now this is how guys we have to create the Google or this is how we have to create the account in your Google Cloud. And always make sure always check this particular credit do not upgrade your account guys okay see they are asking to upgrade the account do not upgrade upgrade means you are basically going with the pay as you go model basically which means now you have to pay the amount do not upgrade this particular account go with this only free tier only okay just make sure remember this point once we will done with that what we have to do the first step here you have to go to into the dashboard. So you will see all these things in your dashboard. Now, you have to just do one simple thing. You have to type in your browser, which is eveng, eve-ng.net, hit enter. It will take you towards the official eveng website. Now, in this website, if you will go into the documentation section, always guys refer these procedure. Go to into documentation and go to into EVNG installation. What you can do, you can select here community cookbook. Click on this community cookbook basically. Do not go with the professional here guys. Always go with the community edition, this one. Open a new tab. So in my case, it will not open because it is asking me to download. Yeah, it has opened not this one. So it is downloaded. So let me just open. So if you go into the download section, this is the one which is download today only. You can see the time and date, right? Open this book. Go here. 
now in this book basically you will get the crystal clear steps and just always you have to verify you are going with the community edition because evng comes in two versions this is the community one the first the second one is professional if you will go with the professional you have to pay some amount you have to purchase the license this community one is free for everyone so we will use this free version now in this book you will if you go here you will see in section 3.4 google cloud platform installation starting from page 37 directly you can jump into page 37 now in this page 37 what what they are saying google account you can log into the gcp account this is the method this is the console.cloud.google.com this is the url for that we have already logged in right we have already here only now what they are saying here now we have to select the project you can see this red arrow what they are saying they are asking to select the project or you can say create a new project by default gcb will offer a project named my first project you will get this project by default so what do you have to do go go back here go to into this project click over there into this drop down icon you will get these two projects click on new project give the name to this new project which is sd -WAN lab you don't need to select any kind of locations here just click on create now simple step guys create and create now we have created a new project you can give any name whatever you want they have given the project name which is eve test but we have given the sd -WAN lab right so whatever you want you can give now this process will take some time so we have to wait here guys your project is created you will get here your notification now click on this sd -WAN project go here just click now it will take you inside your project which is here now go to into the book again guys now what they are asking they are asking to click on this particular cloud cell they are asking to click into this cloud cell which is this one they are asking to start the cli of your google cloud click on this wait here you will see here we are getting this load option we have to wait here click on continue and we will wait here for some time now it is connecting with the cli of your google cloud so you will get the cli like that and always verify you are in your project only sd when left which means i am in my current correct project now go here you will get this particular thing right cli now you have to copy this particular command very very carefully guys let me just copy copy here go to into evng or what i can do because here we have one track guys okay let me just copy so if when we used to copy you will get you will see i will get this particular command into three lines guys and if you will paste like that it will not work okay that's the thing which you have to remember and always make sure when you are copying this image guys or this command you make sure sometimes these is these hyphens they missed basically during the copy during this copy you will miss these star basic or these particular hyphens so you have to basically make sure you are not missing anything so what i will recommend i'll go you can copy this open into your notepad open here one notepad
copy this entire command here in the notepad. So here also, when you will copy, you are getting into two lines, right? What you will do? Go here. If you want, you can reduce the font and everything. Just let me reduce it till the foot till four, 14. Now you will see now I think entire command just in single line, right? When you will see this command is in single line, you can copy the whole command, go to into your cloud cell, paste it. And if you will paste like that, which means you are good to go. And after that, what do you have to do? Go here. This is the command which we have copied, right? So make sure you have copied like that entire command just in single line. And after that, just hit enter here. Click on authorize and just wait here for some time. Select here, yes, hit enter. And you will get this status is ready. If you will see that status, which means we are good. So we will wait here. It is enabling the services, right? What I have seen on my previous classes, this particular star has been missed by the students. This hyphen, not a star, sorry. And you will miss this particular hyphen as well. So just make sure you are not making these mistakes, guys, okay? And what I will do, I'll go here. Just copy from here and let me just put here. And I'll give you the link. Sometime here, I used to get the problems basically. Now. Just wait here. It has finished the process. You will get the success message. Now just wait here. I hope guys I am audible. Is there any noise? Just confirm. Yes, no. On chat. Yes, sir. We are able to hear it properly. Okay. There is a one guy here joined with lots of rupees, lots of at the rate and hash. Who is that guy? Can you just rename please yourself? Guys, please join by proper name. Him. So some people have joined from old patch. If you remember, we okay, not an issue. Not an issue. Not I'm an removing issue. this dollar sign, anyways. Okay, cool, guys. So you will see if you will get this particular ready A status is ready, which means. You have copied the command properly and things are good here. So always make sure a status is ready. You have to look for that one. This thing we have to look. If this is ready, we are good now. Now we will again go to into the document. Why guys I'm referring this document. I can able to do it without referring the document, but I have seen People, Google Cloud, if they used to make any changes at their end, that time EVNG also needs to make some changes because in last page, what happens? I have gone through with the entire configuration, entire setup on Monday. And when my students, not on Monday, on Sunday, basically, and when my students, they have tried on Monday, they have seen lots of differences. Okay. So that's why basically I have downloaded this latest cookbooks always refer this cookbook basically now simply what you have to go to into the navigation bar you have to go inside the compute engine and vm instance it's just a simple process like we used to create in your aws environment right we used to create any vms now go to into compute engine here go to into virtual machine instance now if you want you can close this cli you don't need at all now, so right now I'm on a VM instance, right? If you will click like that, go to into compute engine, then virtual machine instance, and you will go here. Now, what do you have to do? 
you can click on create instance even though you will get computing engine then vm instance create the vm instance you will get the steps here clearly now just wait here you have to give the name i'll always recommend you could give the name here e hyphen ng and guys make sure you are using here a small letters if you will use capital letters you will see it will give you some error because they will support only small letters numbers and hyphens do not try to use here a special character like hash do not try just give this e hyphen ng that is more than enough now just remember one thing guys by default if you will see you will get this particular zone us best i'll recommend guys do not stick to this particular zone only just maybe you can use someone us best 3 us best 1 west to oregon right all these if you want somebody want you can use the singapore as well you can use mumbai as well you can use delhi as well okay so whatever zone you want to use you can go for it but if you will use this us best 4 which is also recommended by the gcp here you will get the resources easily all the resources you will get easily here select it if you want to change the region you can change it if you want you can go with the similar and after that you have to go into the series here what you have to select you have to select here n2 series now guys machine type what is the machine type you have to select if you go down we have this 8 virtual cpu and 32 gb of ram we have to select this machine n2 is standard with 8 virtual cpus and 32 gb ram here basically if you will go in the document they have selected here london region right and they have selected here n2 and they are just using a four virtual cpu and a 16 gb of ram right but in our case we have to go with the eight cpu and 32 gb of ram guys do not select more than eight cpus okay because eight cpu is enough and this is the highest limit as well if you will try to select here 10 cpus your setup will not work you will get some issues because this is the highest limit on your free tier account you are only allowed to select here 8 cpu and go with just 32 gb ram that is which is more than enough now go here go here now you will see this boot disk click on change a boot disk go to into custom images this is make sure you are in the your project which is sdvn lab and you can just click on drop down button here you will get this nested a one to focal to select this but now how i can able to see this nested a one to focal image here if you remember we have run this command right the meaning of this command it has just downloaded this particular image for you from the this particular website okay so that's why you are able to see this and you have to select this one boot disk you have to select it ssd and the size you can give here 100 gb just click on select go down allow default access here allow http and allow https access on the firewall now go here so what they have done make sure this this option is not selected change the disk like we did here select your nested one to focal ssd they had just given here 50 gb but we need to give here 100 gb of hard disk ssd we have to use allow the access guys they have just allowed http but i have allowed https as well and after that you have to click on create
password you have to click on create go here click on create now your image creation is happening so we will wait here let me close this learning things i don't need if you will check you can check the status here as well and you can check the status here as well this a notification tab and here as well and this process hardly take guys around 2 to 5 minutes so we have to wait so do not basically do much things here just wait and watch this thing to complete okay so you will see creation is completed but still it is doing something so click on this refresh button here now when you will click on refresh button you will see you will get one internal ip address this is your private ip address and this is the external ip address this is your public ip address now in the next step what do you have to do if you go into the documentation here go down go up here go go down basically and just select shs and open in browser window click over there on this drop down icon and just open in browser window and it will open here this wait here which means now we are taking the shs of our avantu machine guys because in the back end evng uses the avantu it's a linux environment or linux operating system this wait here so you will get this kind of prompt guys and after that you have to go to into sudo hyphen i and you have to copy this particular command so let me just copy this command at least until we will get the access now you will see we will get the access right we have the shs access you can run your command like you can try here sudo minus i you can run if config right so right now if config it is not allowing because you have to install this particular package so what you can do type here sudo hyphen i and paste this particular command make sure w get hyphen o hyphen https colon www dot evng dot net hyphen focal install hyphen evng dot sh which means what it will do let me run this command so what this command will do it will basically go to into evng website on evng website there is a one cell script file and that cell script file what it will, it will download so w get command we use for downloading that cell script file and it will basically run that cell script into the best interface of your linux environment now on this process here we have to wait guys we don't have any anything to do so we have to wait here we have to just simply wait here so just wait here if you need i'll give you these commands as well because i have written some command of these things into my notepad for the reference purpose
so we have to just set idle until this particular process will complete so let's wait Okay, so I got one question like G10. He has asked, what is the 10 type tentative time? So generally this process, I have not measured the time here, but it will take around five to 10 minutes, not more than that. I got one question from Prashad. He's asking, can he is able to configure this on VMware? Yes, you are. I have done the same thing on my server. I'll give you that glimpse, basically. Don't worry. I'll take the access of my server and I show it to you. So I'm running my lab on my server only. So just wait here, guys. Anyone have any other question? You can put on chat until this process is going on. So Saurabh, you are asking, we are, we are just installing the EVNG. We are not installing any of the images, okay? We are installing the EVNG right now. Images we will install after that once, I, once our Eve is ready. So Sujit, you are asking regarding the Nexus switching. Yeah, you can use the Nexus switches as well on your EVNG environment. You can install 9K, 7K and 5K devices there. The virtual image of these devices. So Bijay, I recommend you can go with the GCP environment if you don't have a server. If you have a server, then you can go with the server environment, okay? GCP is good if you don't have a proper resources. Okay, cool guys. So now I have got the access process is complete. Now, what do you have to do? The next, next thing you can see, I have to run app update command. So what it will do, it will update the, if there is any kind of, updates is available for the packages so just run your app update and after that just run your app upgrade now once we will done with that what we have to do we have to reboot the machine how you will reboot this machine you can type here reboot command Type here reboot command. Go back to here. Refresh it. Reboot is going on. We will wait here some time. Right now reboot is going on. You will get this kind of prompt, right? Just wait here. And after when around one minute is complete or two minutes is complete, just click on retry, which means when your machine came, we will again got the connection of your machine here. Just wait. Transferring the SHS keys to the VM. Cool guys, we got the first screen. Now what they're asking to type the password for root, right? So guys, now you have to set the root password. I'll highly recommend guys, the root password by default you can set EVE. This is the default password also for your root. And I will 
recommend you can configure this password only ev if you want to put here any complex password like cisco at the rate star at something you can go for it i don't have any issues but for the first time always go with eve and i'll recommend always go with eve basically don't have any problem okay so when you will type anything guys you will not able to see anything here just type eve -E, and you will not able to see after that you have to press tab tab means so what i have done here guys just remember on my screen i have typed ev you will not able to see anything and i have pressed the tab button and when i have pressed the tab button my cursor is moved from this screen here to this button okay when i am in okay what i will do i'll go and i hit enter it is asking to repeat the root password i will again type e v e i will click on tab button and i will hit enter so it is just it will give you this prompt failed to change the password click on okay not an issue hit enter hit enter guys always go with the dscp option here on google cloud okay always go with the dscp option on the google cloud and after that also again hit okay it is asking to put the ntp server but we don't have any ntp server right so hit okay or hit enter now hit again enter now you will get this prompt so what i will recommend if you go here now it will give you this prompt right now when you will go see this one just type here sudo minus i when you will type this minus i you will again get the this particular prompt now uh, here you can again need to type eve -E, press the tab button hit enter eve -E, press the tab button hit enter now press the tab button hit enter tab button hit enter tab button hit enter hit enter hit enter and we have completed the evng setup guys now you can if you want you can close this one now what we have to do you can go here refresh it and you can see this public ip address copy this public ip address go to into your browser and type here http guys just make sure you are not typing https just type here http then ip address of your evng hit enter here we go we will get the login screen of your evng what is the username we have to put here username is admin what is the password password is ev and click on sign in what is the username for gui gui username is admin and password is ev what is the username for cli access this is for graphical user interface through web browser and you have to always type with the http colon double slash then public ip of your evng see in cli what is the user username username is root and password is ev how you can take the cli access if you will open the putty here and in this putty if you will type the ip at the public ip address of your evng if you click on open it is asking for the public key accept the public key login as root password is ev and here we go we have got the such as access as well now if these two access are working which means we are good we have done everything till here according to the cookbook we have done everything good basically now what is the first thing you have to do now 
always remember guys now what we need to do we need to upload the images here or what i will recommend guys if you will basically go here or just create one here lab let me just give the test lab okay for the reference purpose password is ev guys do not log in because this is public right now anyone can log in okay do not try to log in if test lab i just give this folder name i'll go inside this folder i create one test lab this is the first level and if you will go into the node here guys somebody somebody is trying to log in again and again i am do not try guys stop let's try okay yeah so you will see i don't have any of these nodes here right right now now i i will basically upload the images basically what i will upload the images how i will upload the images so to upload the images there is a one software very very popular software which is bin scp now what we have to do you have to download this software and after that you have to install this software on your laptop and third thing we will use this software to upload the images what we will use this software to upload the images how you will download this software if you go here if you will type bin scp download for windows 10 you will get this bin scp official website from that website you have to click on this button download will start see it has started the download hit enter download will start and download will complete as well and guys once your down, downloading of this software is complete what do you have to do you have to basically install it it is very very simple like we used to do the installation for any other software it just the next next process okay so that installation i am not going through because it's a very easy steps guys you have to double click and you have to follow the next next option that's it once we will go with that if you because i am already having that software on my system if i type a bin scp go here now here what you have to do you have to basically put this particular public ip address again so let me just put this public ip address port number 22 username is root password is eve login now what i am going to do there is a one drive i am having so i'll go into that drive now in this drive basically i will share you one link which is even so you all get the x of this particular folder guys i will add your email ids tomorrow okay on this folder here you will get the bin scp software as well if you don't if you don't have you can basically download from here as well and you have to go to into this even image website now in this image website you will see the all these tjet file 
So what what are the files you have to download, guys? You have to download first file is your Windows 10 ENT machine. This file, second file is vSmart. Then your V Manager, VS, B Bond, L2 switch, L3 router. These are the images you have to download. And apart from that, you also need to download this Ubuntu Linux machine. You can download the Palo L2 as well. And I highly recommend you can just download this Palo L2 or not this is the panorama. This one, Palo L2 10 image. Okay. And apart from that, you will get other images as well. If you want to download ASA, I don't have any issues you can download. Once you will download them, right? So let me just show you the demo for ASA. If I'll download the ASA, let me just click on download. I will put this download into my desktop. So it will complete in few seconds, guys. I'm just waiting for this download to complete because I have seen people got stuck on that particular step. Okay. Download is completed. So you will get the image like that. I hope this image is visible, right? You will get like that file. You have to do one thing. Now you have to extract this file with the help of this software, which is 7-zip software. Or if you have WinRAR extract software, you can use that as well. You just need one software to unzip. So you can use 7-zip or either you can use WinRAR, okay? And what you have to do, you have to click on extract to this one. Now see extract is completed and you will get the file like that. So guys, you will get all the files like that. And here inside that, if you will get this .tar file, what you have to do, you can select it and you can again extract basically here only. And after that, you can delete this tar file, not needed. And now you will get the actual file. This is the actual folder, right? Of file we can say. Now delete this one as well, not needed. Now we have. So guys, sometime I have seen people make lots of mistakes here. See, if you will see, I have here one folder. Inside that folder, I have this file, right? So I have same with the two folder with the same name. Always make sure control X or just cut this file. Go to into the main folder, which is this one and paste here and delete the this particular folder, which means what EVNG supports. EVNG support all the file who is having your folder. Inside that folder, you have this virtual dot to image. If you go into my laptop, I'll go into my desktop here, C drive into desktop. If I'll go into my software folder, SD1 images, so you will see I need images in this format. If I'll go to into your, let's suppose, let me go with the Windows 10 image. You will see here, I have a Windows 10 folder. Then inside that I have sda.qout image. This is the good format. For vSmart, I have a folder with, with vSmart-20.3.1 and I have sda.qout. I have here vManage, same. I have VH, which is also same, sd.qcow2, and some files you will get with virtual.qcow2 as well, but that is good, guys, okay? So you just make sure they have the name like that. If there is any space, there is any hyphen 001 kind of keyword, you will see, just remove them. You just make sure these files you have in this particular format, okay? And once you will get all these files, what do you have to do? I have connected with my, I have connected with my bin SCP. So guys, 
what I have to do, if you will see here, I have this folder, which is DIMSYS. I will go inside this folder because this is the place where I have downloaded all the images. I will go into the DIMSYS one. So in bin SCP, this particular screen of my EVNG screen, which is deployed over the Google Cloud. And this is my PC, my laptop screen, I can say. Here I will get the file system of my laptop and here I will get the file system of my Linux machine. Okay, now, what do you have to, you have to click on a star. You can go to into the slash here, then go to into OPT, then go to into unit lab, then go into the add-ons. OPT, unit lab, or add-ons, then you will have this dimensions, right? Go inside this folder. And first thing, what you have to do, just copy this 3725 router image and just put it here. And if you go into my drive, you will get that image here, basically, dimensions one. Okay, you will get everything from my side. You don't need to worry about it. See, upload when this upload will complete. But this is this is the only image which we have to put inside this dimensions folder. Remaining images we have to directly put into the main folder, or we can say which is also known as chemo folder. Okay. Do not worry about it. I am just gonna do that right after this. Once this is complete, you can click on this back icon. Now you will have this chemo folder inside the add-ons directory. Go inside this chemo directory of folder and go back here as well. And here you have all your images. Now what do you have to do? You can select your images from here. I can select here vbond, vs, vmanager, vsmart, windows 10 machine, Select this CSR router image, this one. And let me just see. I think this Linux one I have not unzipped right now because you will get, when we will download, you will get in this particular format, zipped format, okay? So I have not unzipped on that day. So what we can do, let me just copy these images here. I have selected, I just drag and drop here. Simple step. Now guys, this process will take some time. You can see here, it is taking around, it has shown here three hours. So sometime what it will, it will may take around 40 to 30 to 40 minutes, according to your internet bandwidth because now we are uploading lots of data from your system to the cloud. Okay. Because right now I think my inter is not working good today. That's why it is, it will, it is just giving, it will take around one hour, but this is how only. Now, apart from this guys, because let me also go through again with this process, I'll go into my sd one images, you will see, I have all these particular files, right? Right now I'm using 20.3.1. This, this is also very stable version, guys. So you can use 20.3.1 20, 20 or 20.4.1, any, any one will work. And you will, when you will download, you will get into this particular format dot TZ format. You have to just do the simple thing. You have to click on extract here once you click on extract here you will get the image after the extraction which is you now you are getting this dot tar file go here and just click on extract again extract here and after that when this extract will complete you will get b bond image somewhere here which is B1 
20.4.1. Now this is the final image which we have to upload. So you have to extract two times from TJet, you will get into the tar, then tar2, you will get the actual file. Okay, let me just delete it. So this is how you have to do for all these files. So now what is the file you have to upload? Let me just again tell you, you have to upload one v wand file, v is, v manager, v smart. These files you need because these are the, your SD1 controllers. We need one Windows image, Windows 10 as well. We need these two router and switches images, these two. In similar fashion, you have to unzip them because you are getting these files in gunzip format or tjet format. Okay. You will get the Palo Alto. You can do the same thing for Palo Alto. So you have to upload this Palo Alto 10 image. And on the Linux point of view, what you have to do, you can use the Avantu Linux, which is this one. And we are good to go. So let's see, it is. it will take around 38 minutes to at least upload these things. Meanwhile, what I can do, let me just turn on my server. We have the ENG access here. We close the lab, this one. If you want, you can delete that lab. Now what I will do, let me log in into my server right now. It is just started, so it will take some time to come up around one minute. So still here, guys, we have completed the ENG installation process. Now what we are doing with the, we are just now trying to upload our images. Once this upload of these images will complete, we are good to access them. Okay. Because if you will see, if I'll again create a one lab, like test lab, Right now, if you will see here, if I right click on notes, I can get my ASC. See, I can, you can see here Cisco CSR, iOS router as well, right? Because this we have added on the time system, right? If you will click start, and you can take the access. So guys, always you will get this particular issues, okay? So what, how you will resolve this problem? Just make sure you can stop it. You can log out and always log in as a admin account here and just put the password, which is EVE and always type with the HTML5 console. Now start this machine. And just start it. Now you will get the console of your router. See, it's loading. And here we go. We have got the access of our router, right? Which means we have completed at least. We will get the access of this router, which means we have done the router installation successfully. So version can check the version and everything, right? Which means we can able to access now. Now, what I will recommend guys, let me just see if I got the access. I got the access because you don't need to create a lab because I'm gonna use this type of big topology. And I don't want you guys can, we will, you will put, you will create this topology. So what I will do, I'll give you that topology. So let me just, get this topology from my actual ENG. And we will upload that topology. And I will show you this process as well, because meanwhile image upload is going on. This will take some time because right now 10% is only completed. Let me just turn on my ENG.
so this is the image someone has asked can be able to do the setup on exa environment you can because i am running my evng on the exa exa server only let me log in so what i will do i'll just click on close lab i we have these two topologies right i will select both of them and i will just export so when you will export you will get the prompt for downloading of these files what i will do let me just put them on my desktop and i can just put here sd wan topology save it once you will download this topology you will able to see into your doc desktop like that now go here go to into your this evng close lab you will get this import button click on this import button this is the google one and you will see here i have put this is the one right i will share this topology guys do not worry about it click on okay click on this upload button upload has been completed and here we go just open it and you will get the laptop topology which i am using basically you will get the whole topology here don't need to create this is the basic one and you will see there is a advanced one as well and guys these are the steps you have to follow okay do not skip anything while doing these things do not skip okay i'll highly recommend to so let setup is a tds task guys okay always close the lab so like that we we will upload our topology now let's wait for some time let me just see now you can see i have some device which is csr cisco ios routers we have a v bond v as v manager vpc right v smart is going on so we have to wait until we will upload all the images basically from here cool so right now upload is going on let me just pause the recording okay guys so upload is still going on so we have to wait but i know few of the files is already copied like your v bond v smart and v manager right so always remember guys because this is the laptop logy which is used my me previously right so what you will do when you will try to start these devices maybe you will get some kind of errors this error you will get when you will start them first time when you will upload the upload the topology into your evng when you will start it first time that time only you will get some error so if let's suppose let me start this v manager it is started but if it will not start what you have to do you have to always just wipe the node always just wiped out then only you will start so i'll highly recommend guys what you can do you can just wipe it because i have done some configuration from pre previously and so that time maybe you will face some challenges always recommend it before starting your lab this is for one time activity guys after that you don't need to do anything this is just a one time activity wipe all all these nodes if they are not starting if you will face any problem like that even though you can able to wipe all the nodes from here as well wipe all nodes even though you can able to start all of them in one go and you can stop all of them in one go but do not try because guys in sd wan less we have to take care of few things first thing we never start or do not start 
all nodes from that topology together. Do not start from here. Like you have to go to here and start all node. Do not do that. Otherwise, your lab will not come up. Your sum of the device may crash due to the CPU utilization and all. And the second thing, do not stop the nodes as well. All the nodes do not stop together. Just stop one by one, basically. So how you will start when you will log in? You always start your V Manager first. Click over there and just wait for at least three minutes basically. When you will start the V Manager, just wait for three minutes minimum time, guys. And just see the process here. Because this is the main device. Even though, guys, if you will see this topology, we have lots of devices, right? This is the brain of your topology. This is the main device who will take around 16 GB of RAM. This is the single device who will basically is taking almost all of your resources. Remaining this device, this, this, all these, they are just taking very less resources. Maybe everyone is taking just one GB of RAM. CSR, it will also take around 4 GB of RAM. This will take 1 GB, this will take 1 GB, this will take 1 GB. This Linux machine will take around 4 GB. And your Palo Alto will take around 4 GB by default. So, because the thing is, guys, one more thing to remember. For doing the labs, we don't use or we don't need all these devices we can run together all of the branches we don't need to turn on maybe we can do almost lots of practicals by using this branch and this branch we can we do not turn on these branches until needed so like that we will save our resources because we just have here 32 gb of ram we will save our ram and we will save our cpus and how you will check the things if you will go into your status Click on this status, you will get your CPU utilization, memory utilization, and disk utilization. Always. Right now, you will see 16% CPU is utilized. Now, if you go here, we get the vManager, right? Do not do anything here, guys, for now. I am going to cover everything when we will basically see the bring up of these devices. And once you will start this, you can start these this device, this device, you don't need be a smart tool to be running, not required at all. Start this switch, start this Linux machine. Now again, just wait for at least some time. You will see your Linux is failed. Switch is also filled. Why they are filling? Because these images I have not uploaded yet. But when you will do your things, you will not get these errors because we will upload all these images, right? And after that, what? We will start these, we will wait for three minutes, then we will start these two. And we will wait for two minutes. These routers, this one, this one, this, 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 these one, you can start anytime. They just take one GB of them. So this is the thing you have to basically take it. Do not go here and just start all nodes. Otherwise your lab will hang and your device will not come up. Because I have seen in the environment, guys, this entire lab, it will take some time around 10 minutes to load everything. So here you have to wait for at least 10 minutes, then only your, when your lab is up and running, and after that you can start doing the things. So these things you have to basically take care, guys, always. Because right now, upload is still going on. Once this upload will complete, what I will do, I'll upload the Linux image and I upload the switch image. Because these images I have to upload. If you will see right now, if I click on node, I don't have these images. I have a CSR. I have a iOS router image. And I have a VBond, VS. 
be manager be smart and bpc and i have a windows image as well linux i don't have and i don't have this switch image and also palo alto i don't have palo alto right these three images i will upload once this particular upload process will complete once this process will complete i will upload the remaining images now if you will open you will get you will able to open all the devices into this browser only if you want a feel of your putty you can go like that you can you can go like that you can put your windows like that you will get the feeling of putty You will log in. So admin, admin. Don't worry. These things I'm gonna discuss. Put the admin password again. Re-enter the password, which is also admin. And what? When you will get this prompt, you have to run here first one, which is having hundred GB. Click on yes. And this is how we will start the vManager. Don't worry. We will see the bring up process of all these controllers in your classes, in your lab setup. Don't worry. Okay. So these things you have to make sure, guys. You have to make sure all these things. Now, what I will do in your next class, I will. I also need to discuss a few more things regarding your lab. How we can get the internet from this particular router. So this is also one of the tedious task on the Google Cloud. But I will know the way how we can configure so all these controllers they can able to talk to the internet if we need to fetch something from the internet so i will also tell you this is also one of the tasks on your google cloud how we can provide the internet connection to our lab this thing i am going to cover don't worry now you will see you will get the access of all your devices see i got the v manager login and always guys if i will log in here because these are the few things you have to take care if you will see authentication is failing why because my system is not ready i have to wait for some more time so when you will get the system ready here then only log in into your vManager just remember so these are the few things which you have to take care into your sd wan lab but don't worry because i will also use the as use my gcp lab only for doing around few initial labs you so you all get when until that time you will get familiar with this lab now you will see system is ready now we are able to log in right so always wait for this particular problem when system is ready just try to log in And if you will see, I am running my vManager. I am running some of my branch router, and I can check the CPU utilization. I have a seventy-two percent of CPU utilization. Memory utilization is twenty-eight percent. Disk utilization is twenty-one percent. So, like that, we can track the status of all all of our resources in your EVNG environment. Okay, so let's see. This process is at ninety-two percent. Once this will will complete, I will basically try to upload my Linux images. Meanwhile, what I can do? I'll go here. Let me just look for my Avanti image. Let me just unzip, extract here only. So extraction is going on. Then again, extract this star file. Delete the star file, and you will able to see here a one two image now. This one we have to upload this folder, and you will see it is in correct name, right? So 
so it's going on right now so it is just in 94% once this complete i will uh, try to upload my palo alto and the oven to linux machine and my router and such as routers images as well right so let me just extract these two images as well i also need these two on my lab extract here extract is done for this one let me just do the same thing for my switch image which is a layer to switch this is the one so we have to extract two times guys just remember and you have here palo alto as well which is this one right and i like my if you do not do not want to use the palo alto you can put router as well you can put cisco ac as well not router anything will work fine for me because palo alto is again takes lots of resources right so these are the different ways when we needs to do the palo alto practicals we can just put the palo alto right because it just uh, you just need to delete it you have to connect that's it it's just pretty simple guys extract the palo alto as well so now we have your ubuntu image we have your palo alto we have your routers and switches right now we will upload these images after completion of this process it is in 96% right now so we will wait meanwhile guys let me just tell you one thing now in tomorrow class basically we will go through with the history of when or your wide area networking we will discuss the history now how what are the issues we are having in your when environment then how all these issues will be take care by your sd when and we will see what is sdn what is the software defined networking for when routers for your switches or for your LAN environment we will see all of them and after that i'll just move towards the sd when controllers so this is the idea or these are the things i'm gonna cover in your tomorrow session and meanwhile you guys need to do the lab setup and in case of any issues when you doing when you will stuck if you will stuck anywhere during do doing during the that lab setup you can always ping me i am here to help you with your doubts and everything just wait here it is completed almost 100 percent. so these are the four images we have uploaded yet right now what you can select here this one So let me refresh. So it will load this. So this this L2 switch I need. And what I need, I need this Palo L2. I need this Avan2. If you don't want to put the Palo L2, you can put any any ASA. I don't have any issues, right? Select them, upload them. If you want, you can upload all, all these images in one go, but I'll recommend what you can do. Maybe you can, I am uploading like in two ways. You can upload one by one, maybe upload this one, one when this will complete, just upload this one. Like that also you can able to do it. If you have some internet related issues at your environment, right? So this is how we have to do. Once all these images will upload, what you will do you can check them 
it is uploaded and if you are able to see them here with the this below icon they are able to if you are able to see them in below which means you are you have uploaded them successfully and after that you have to start them start it if it is if you are able to start and you can able to see this type of GUI, you are good to go and like that we have done the successfully ebng setup on your google cloud platform and we have also uploaded our top losses now this is the top losses on which we are going to do almost all the labs basically once everything will be completed always remember to stop stop your machine if you are not using this machine just go here you have to stop it do not try to suspend basically do not reset do not delete always stop stop means it will stop and it and you don't need to pay any extra cost to the google cloud so as somebody has mentioned because i have not seen that part like they are charging around 0.24 usd right so now four per hour basis right may which means you will get lots of lots of hours basically to do the labs that's why they are giving around 90 days okay so maybe if you will use your lab every day around four to five hours whatever credit you are getting this one this is more than enough basically if just you are just using your lab for four to five hours not more than that i'm talking about the everyday basis okay so guys these are the things only which i am gonna i want to cover with regards to your lab setup so we have created the account we have done the event installation we have uploaded all the images right we have created the topology so what we have just directly uploaded now let me just tell you one thing guys how that things is happening so you will get some idea what we have done so far what we have done in your google we have created one account basically so in your gcp what they are having this kind of environment there so in that their environment this is the gcp environment google cloud environment right in their environment what they are having here one firewall they are having here one router And after that, they are having here one hypervisor. This is the hypervisor they are having. Now on this hypervisor, what we have done, we have created one VM. This is the one VM we have created. This VM name is EVNG. Now this VM, it has a connectivity with this router. This router have a connectivity with this firewall. Now this firewall have a connectivity with the one more router here. This is also known as internet gateway router and which have a further connectivity over the internet. right now on this machine it is having public ip or i can say generally in actual just have a private ip address and we can we have seen it is also having one public ip right so they are using somewhere one net gateway as well so maybe they are using this router on that router they have configured the net that is your static net If you remember, I have allowed the HTTP traffic and HTTPS traffic, right? I have allowed because of this firewall. So I want to access the resources on that firewall. 
that's why i have allowed the http and https resources there but guys do not forget to do this thing there's a one more step is a step is involved if you go into this gcp if you go into this bpc if you go into this firewall open it into new tab i'll highly recommend you can go with this step if you are not able to access your evng what you can do you will get some rules here dismiss close it and what just create a firewall rule give the name here ingress rule network is default priority is default this is the ingress rule allow the traffic define your target or just go with all instance in this network allow all the ip address allow on all port just allow everything click on okay create create another firewall rule give the name here egress rule because i have seen sometime there is some problem with the access and all target you can define all instance in this network destination ip address define all zeros because we don't have any kind of critical data here right so we can allow everything create so this step also maybe you have to do if you are not getting the access of your evng from your web browser we have created both these rules we are good to go now you can close it still this upload is going on guys so we have to wait here we don't have any other options okay so guys these are the only thing which i want to cover in your evng lab setup once always check the resources like that guys and also remember when this upload will complete we are going to go with our labs what we are good to go with our labs so these are the only things which you have to do